And ahead of the U.S.-China summit, Washington has made it clear that the two countries are united in their opposition to North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Here's our Han Dae-eun with more. U.S. National Security Advisor Susan Rice says neither the United States nor China will accept North Korea as a nuclear weapon state. Speaking to students at George Washington University on Monday, Rice also reiterated that North Korea should stop developing weapons of mass destruction. She said the weapons threaten regional stability and the respective national security interests of the U.S. and China. China and the United States are equally united in demanding the complete and verifiable denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. We firmly oppose North Korea's efforts to, to develop nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles. Calling China a fulcrum of influence for North Korea, Rice indirectly called on Beijing to play a more active role in steering Pyongyang away from its two-track development policy of nuclear weapons and the economy. And this week's meetings between President Obama and President Xi will be another opportunity to discuss how we can sharpen Pyongyang's choices between having nuclear weapons and developing economically. Such remarks are garnering extra attention as they suggest Obama and Xi will send a strong message to North Korea, specifically urging it to give up its two-track development policy. And as China's North Korea policy has grown more ambiguous since Kim Jong-un came to power, watchers say it'll be interesting to see how far China is willing to go to rein in its longtime ally. Han Dan, Arirang News.